Hello, I'm back with another update for the Cycles plugin for 3ds Max. Today I will be going over uh, the new features in the recent Beta 101 release. Um, the two major features are stereoscopic rendering and uh, panoramic rendering, and I'll be showing off both of those in this video. So first, I haven't set anything up yet. I'll just create a real simple scene here with some uh, oops, with some boxes and some teapots, just to uh, just to get some geometry in there. What it is really doesn't matter. And throw a nice round teapot on there. Okay, so first of all, I will show off uh, stereoscopic rendering. So I'll uh, frame up nice on this teapot, get in pretty close there. And I will switch over to cycles. Uh, and where the stereoscopic settings are is in this advanced tab here. The settings are now split across these two tabs. Um, so go down here and we'll pick uh, anaglyph to start. And this is the mode where it'll split the 3D image um, based on the color channel, so like the uh, the red cyan here. Uh, your options here for the different the different modes. So first, before I do a render, I will add some light to the scene quick. And then um, I will switch to GPU so it's a little faster. I'll just do a quick low resolution render here. You'll see first it's rendering in the red channel for the left eye. And once that completes, it renders in the uh, the green and blue channels for the right eye. And it leaves you with a stereoscopic image. So that's how that one works. The other modes available here are uh, you can change uh, what colors it uses or you can change to one of these two modes on the bottom which are uh, will split the frame into two images, one for the left eye and one for the right eye. So I'll, I'll just show off left right here. So if you just pick that and you have your, your camera still all set up the same and you do a render, what's going to happen is the field of view will be all messed up. Uh, it's correct horizontal but there's too much too much vertical field of view. So what you have to do in cases like this is go over here to uh, your resolution and because it's left right you double the uh, double the horizontal resolution and then it will render uh, framed up exactly how you wanted it. And as you can see there's one uh, from the left eye here and from the right eye here they render in separately. Um, and that about covers it for stereoscopy. Uh, it's a handy feature. You There's a few options here for distance between the cameras and um, how far away they'll converge. Other than that, the other new feature is the panoramic camera. So I will actually zoom out here, rearrange my scene a little bit so I have somewhere better to put the camera. There, and I'll just put it down cycles. Turn off auto grid. Just drop it right there. So I'll zoom in on it to show what this uh, looks like in the viewport. Oops. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. There's this arrow here pointing forward, and that will be what is in the, uh, the middle of your rendered frame. Then this cross here is at the bottom, and the empty line sticking out is at the top. So I will choose this camera quick, and I will turn off stereoscopy for now, and I'll just do a simple go up to 800 by 600. This will do a stereoscopic render uh, from that point of view, and it shows off all these different uh, objects in the scene. And this is something you could um, render out an image like this and then you can put it in as an environment map and that will it will all be it's the correct proportions that just using this as an environment map will map it correctly to the uh, 3D space. Um, and the other feature about this oops actually I'll show off an active shade quick because this um, this camera type also works in active shade. Uh, stereoscopy unfortunately right now does not but for this camera, I can lock the viewport to the camera here. And then I can go make, oops, sorry, moving windows around. I'll make this guy a perspective viewport. Um, now I can move the camera around and you'll be able to see it uh, update in real time. Oops, I moved inside the box. But um, yeah, this, this camera type works as well as anything else for active shade and you can uh, you can rotate it around and move it and do whatever, and it will work just how you'd expect it to. Um, oops, I actually want to delete that. The last feature I want to show off is the uh, stereoscopy. So I'll reset my uh, rotation on this thing. Um, so stereoscopy does work for the panoramic camera, and it actually has a few more options hidden away in the camera settings. 
which are spherical stereo and use pole merge. Spherical stereo you probably want to use if you're doing a, uh, a stereo panorama render. And uh, pole merge as well is good, is good to have on. It will reduce the uh, distortion near the top and bottom of the image. And you can tweak exactly uh, where it starts doing the pole merge to get the right look for your, uh, for your render. So I'll go back to rendering from the camera here. I'll go back to production mode because active shade will not work with the uh, with the, sorry, the stereoscopy. And um, I'll just do a, I'll do an anaglyph quick so you can see, I'll even move the eyes a little farther apart just to create a bigger difference between what the left eye and right eye sees and you'll be able to see in this output image how they're very slightly different. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it for this update. Uh, those are the two big features. Uh, I've also added this button over here for check for updates, so you can just pre press this uh, and it'll pull up the website and tell you if there's any new version. Um, and various options to play around with here for the... Here, oh, I guess I didn't go over um, the fisheye. So I'm not actually sure what situations this is used for, but Cycle supports it, so I added it. Uh, I'll render it like this. And then it will render it forward from, oops, actually I'll turn off stereoscopy quick so you can see that better. Do, do. And it'll, it'll render this sort of panorama. Uh, so that is there as well. Um, and uh, that's it. The plugin, uh, the, the new version is available now on the website, cyclesformax.net. Uh, check it out. And thanks for watching.